What is this? I think this might be one of the most ruined campaigns I've done in a long time, if not historically. 40 corruption, bankruptcy, no stability, tons of rebels, no manpower, no money, everything that we love about the ruined campaigns. Before we move to the video, I'd like to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Prosperous Universe. I bet that you played at least one browser time killer free to play game and spent many hours enjoying it. Well, here you are getting into another level. In Prosperous Universe, you are the CEO of your own space farming company. Hundreds of stars, thousands of planets, and space stations. And what is the best, instead of stupid AIs destroying fun, you only play with and against the other players. Explore the galaxy, design spaceships for alliances and most importantly produce trade, transport and profit. Embrace the tall meta across the galaxy. What makes this browser game superior over the most of the games you remember is that it's not pay to win. Free users can enjoy the game for an unlimited time and premium players pay a straightforward subscription fee. This game is also not punishing players like me with little time to invest. If you wanna give Prosperous Universe a try, go down to video description or pinned comment and check the game on the deep link. This is pure pain. <laughs> Look at this beauty. Minus 3 stability, 40 corruption, increasing, minus 81 prestige, absolutely no legitimacy, no manpower, loans by being bankrupt. Absolute strategy, probably not recoverable, tons of the rebels, 5 for exhaustion, minus 3. <laughs> I don't think we are gonna be able to fix it, but I'll do my best to do so. First of all, on the rebels you can see that there is plenty of loading, but most of them are on the runs to unrest. So what can do? I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. Decrease the war exhaustion, and this will cause almost no rebels in the country already. Then we need the institution because we are so many technologies behind. Current technology, <laughs> current technology is 12. We are at 788. We need two things to fix it. First of all, nine diplomatic tech to main study technology. This will make the technologies way cheaper and we need the institution because we still do not have colonialism even though printing press is coming soon. So what I'll do, I'll simply half state. So this way we might have enough of this percentage to embrace the institution after the month tick. Bankruptcy itself is gonna end in one year, so it's not that bad. And we do have 59,000 troops, uh, more like 40,000 troops to deal with the rebels that are already in the country. But honestly, I will be just recovering the promises, waiting for the bankruptcy to end, and once the bankruptcy ends, then I will actually fight with those rebels. I mean, if you're not using the navy, why do we even keep it? Let's just delete it. We need to also find new allies, but this is close to impossible. We need to get out of the bankruptcy. Ideally, that should be the Ottomans, but they're not so willing to do so. Let me just start improving relations with them. I know we don't have money, but level and advisor is a must-have, even if you are bankrupt and without money. And go focus on admin, because we need to get out of our stability issue, and we need to start repaying the corruption, which I'll do with all of the money. Yes, we need to do with all of the money if it's 40. Ah, uh, and don't forget we are in the middle of the internal conflicts, which is plus 50% stop cost and minus 33% good police modifiers. So in some of our gold mines, you might think, oh, you have gold mines, you're gonna earn a lot of on those. On some of our gold mines, we pretty much earn absolutely nothing. We need to focus on the rebels that are about to enforce. For example, Langoni guys, we need 60 months to deal with them. Hey, I can see whole Europe now, which means that I can build spy network on those that are ahead. I can't. Because both Aragon and Portugal are under Castile that is behind. So let me do on someone else in Europe. You know, it's not like we are the most behind nation in the world. There's also VJ, there's Lanxiang. Also, you know, you know, pretty good brotherhood of guys being behind. And did you know that corruption is affecting your new autonomy? Look, so for example, here it's 19.5. And the minimal autonomy that I can have is 19.5 because of my corruption. Truce with Castile already ended, like one month after my bankruptcy ended. So I'm counting for them to maybe not attack us yet. Why myself see even on minus three? Stability cost 216, we need to get rid of internal conflicts and to do so we need to get rid of all of the rebels, get our unrest down, it's gonna be easy, the worst will be the stability. How to get the stability to one? It's gonna be like 1000 other mana. You can't lose stability if you are already at minus 3. <laughs> Not to help the corruption, our ruler of course is embezzle. <laughs> Uh, what do you 
want from me? Miserica still offer your tribute. We have completely no chance of winning that. Like, even if I wanted to, no, 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 I'm like not in the stage to fight, especially if we are four technologies behind. I will accept it with the goal of regaining all of those provinces by the end of this campaign. You want still to cancel Funch, but release those two small vassals instead of Han Borno, which is more worth for us. And they want uh, one additional province here. It's not a gold mine, gold mine is in the field, so we can totally just accept it and get them the hell out of us. Sell the titles because we do need the money and seize land which will cause, of course, some of the rebels, but I can deal with them pretty much right away. This costs us 1.4 thousand ducats. We do need to take it to start getting the technologies. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna simply take one, two, three loans, hertz, and brings the institution. We need now tech number nine, and then to steal the technologies. Yes, we've got the tax meta currently the noble privileges. This is what we love. Thanks to this, yes, over half of our income is from tax. Well, obviously there are more modifiers than this one, but that's one of the reasons. Okay, we've got some rebels loading and uh, we decrease our corruption fairly nicely. Let me click once, twice, doing it two more times. So at least right now we got rid of majority of the rebels and I can stop those 1.5 hundreds guys right away with my troops. And in our case, actual new system of technologies is helping because we won't have the printing press anytime soon, but we don't care because it will cost us only the tech 12 or tech 30 more. <laughs> We're not even close to that. I can send a royal marriage to Ottomans, which gives us a big chance in the future to ally them. Right now the trust it's a big issue as well as the alliance with Tunis. Vassalizing Morocco might be a good source in the future of reconquest Castles Bullion, Tunis and Castile if you want to fight them. Are you ready for this? Boost up the stability again and once I deal with this last rebel stack we'll be done with the internal conflict. This gives us another stability so the country was pretty much without any more rebels What's important, I'm gonna delete this Merc stack right now to save more money because we also have a lot of manpower. Positive balance. Also, Tunis is right now dying to Castile, of course. We will see what happens because Ottomans is in this war, but if Tunis loses provinces to Castile, there'll be no longer a white rival for us, which will make me more available to ally the Ottomans. I could theoretically start taking the decks, get the one that gives me study the technology, but we still have a lot of corruptions. I don't want to start taking the technologies until we actually be hitting the points cap. By the way, according to game, we are number three great power. Yes, of course we are. It's time for the great tech push. Few things. First of all, let me summon the diet to get the tech cost from Dimi. I also have a mission to reduce corruptions. Very good. I keep doing so. I will take tech nine. And this way, Miltech costs me 370 points, even though we are paying plus 26% for our corruption, but we have minus 17 for spy network, we have 14 for ideas, 20% from the neighbor bonus, 7.5 from Dimi, 10 from the legalism. So for now I'll only take one Miltech, one Miltech to not hit the points gap and we want to keep increasing the amount of the bonuses from the spy network as well as decreasing the corruption to make the technology even cheaper. Look, this is the true power spy network. Minus 30% because we are like five technologies behind on admin. This allows me to take the technology for 250 points, but I'm still decreasing our corruption. The Castile is so imperialist, they integrated Portugal, attack France and they're completely destroying them. Why Britain? Britain is having their own internal affairs. Using the points come Albin, take another technology, same on the meal, so we are still good with the power points and we are spending the minimal amount of money on the techs by getting ourselves out of being red on the text map. Okay, now I'm gonna spend all of the power points on the text because of a simple reason. Let me just take it. One, number two, number one, Number one, we are 10, 10, 11, which should be even green, almost green, same as Castile, look, we are very same as the Castilians right now, and I'm just gonna do this action to get rid of another two corruption. That's why I took all of the text right now, because I decreased my piety, so I decreased also my tech cost reduction bonuses. Third idea group, it really doesn't matter, I'm not gonna feel anything right now, but looking at our mana and what we are having, most probably we should either go for trade, to better organize our 
economy or simply go for something military to go and deal with Castilians. I will leave it for now open, I will just take humanist ideas and can't to get an event for the idea cost. Okay, this is weird. France occupied south? Why Castilians are on the north of the country? Certainly, if Castilians lose the battles over here, they can be even wiped. Now, as my admin tech is not that bad, it stands still behind, but not that much behind, I will start spending my mana on stating the promises. We have plenty of gap capacity and we need to scale. And to scale even more, we could even decrease our autonomy in some of the provinces where that's available. So let me just do it in those few provinces, and that way our income is already 71 with 73,000 of maximum power. <laughs> <laughs> this time you have absolutely no chance even though you might have more troops you're not gonna win it let me turn on my forts let me turn on my armies and let me take the up-to-date technologies 12 they have also 12 no advantage on this side the war goal is take garb so this province here let me go and protect it i also start building more infantry just to be sure that we can push them back because we are at full man power so that won't be big of a problem and as we took the technology anyway i also take this one technology and then reduce my corruption again no 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 castle no 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 not this time first battle was won by us but they're coming with more of the troops and i'll probably have to run away because i'm just getting outnumbered we need more troops to do that. Let me take one, let me take two loans. Let me recruit a free company for additional support. Or maybe you could, probably it's not the best idea to recruit them here, but I'll do it. As I scorched it, they are just coming with... Okay, now they are all together. Let's see. If I reinforce it now, I'll be there after the month tick. So I should be still on time to reinforce it. Hold your ground! Mm, 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 mm. It's close, but we're gonna lose this battle. It's extremely close. But this is just showing how big of a chance we have of actually winning this war with Castilians. And I'm gonna win it. And to win it, I need to organize my troops around the combat with. Current combat with is 27. I have 17,000 frontline from my Merc company. Then I'm gonna get all of the artillery from my main stack and we need additional 10,000 of infantry and these guys will be just simply a reinforcement stack. They are sending all the troops to Tunis. It means that they will go around and carpet smish siege me from this side. This is not bad news because I'll use this situation to retake our world goal. And this calls them to come back. Yes, start coming. I'll wait for them to be movement locked. Once they will be movement locked, I'll start reinforcing the battle. And as it's scorched, I should be still on time to counter before them. This is so close, but I think I should be on time to reinforce it. On 17th, yes, my line didn't even break here. Mm, perfectly played. I don't think I'm gonna be able to stack... Oh, they're coming with more! But no, they're not gonna have enough troops. And that was an easy one. Let me just quickly go and try catching more troops. I'm gonna overstack a lot. What is just to make sure that we might have a chance to wipe some of the armies. And how much did we kill already? We've killed 96,000 of the troops at this point. I might have made a mistake by attacking here, but I have good rolls. It's 9 to 2. Let's see how we roll rated 5 to 3. We have a chance of good rolls of winning at 8 to 2. Come on. Nine. What we are rolling here? 3 to 4. Okay, no, no. Both our lines are breaking. It's 3 to 1 to 1. Ah, I think we are still losing it. 7 to 6. No, we're losing it. Yeah, I went too aggressively. Slight, but look. It's the same time how many troops they've lost versus me. It was still worth it, even though we've lost the battle. And they are already, I think, almost out of the manpower. I have plenty, and they've lost 120k at this point. Another very important battle. It's court, so I don't think they're gonna be on time to reinforce it before I do the wipe. And I'd, I almost did a wipe. Okay, this is good. I'll wait for these guys now to be movement locked, because I can defend myself on the highlands. They'll be here on the 29th September. I'll be here on the 27th. Oh, this is gonna be gold. Look at that. Scorch Earth. Consolidate. Consolidate. Start sending additional troops to reinforce it. We're gonna just freaking destroy them this battle. <laughs> is this minus two? Is this minus two? Start reinforcing with more. This should be an easy battle. This time, it's not only scorched, but you're also fighting on advantage. Ooh, are they gonna be too late? They're gonna be too late. It's just 1st November, they're already losing this battle. 
We've lost 3,000. We've lost 16,000 troops. Just remember to shift consolidate and we'll keep winning those. Again, they'll be here on the 4th of December. Okay, this time they'll be on time to reinforce this battle. Uh, the very last millisecond, I would say. And I can still win it, especially if I roll like this. 5 to 1. 5 to 0. Come on. 5 to 0. 1 to 1. Oh, this is so close. Last time I checked, Hustle had 50k troops. Right now they have 50k troops again, but I've killed 30 in these battles. They had 80k troops before this particular battle. Come on. Big love to you, Mr. Castile. You again lost almost 30,000 troops. We've lost 7,000. So how is your manpower, Mr. Castile? This force just doesn't want to go down 85 freaking percent, but at least we are very close and I'm really soon gonna be able to push back Castilians completely out of Africa. Now the question is, if I have this fort here, will they be even able to run away back to Europe. I think they shouldn't be. So if I wipe all of those troops, that would be pretty much GG for them. Ah, and we got the corruption below 10 final, which got us the modifier for the trade efficiency and interest per annum. Bye bye, Mr. Aragon. Yes, it was very nice meeting you. Let's go further. Once I push them back up of Africa, they have to fight us on minus three, and they have absolutely no chance winning that, especially that I scorch air for here. Bye bye bye, Mr. Castile. Just go back to your continent. We've lost 1,000 troops, they've lost far more. So in total, this already 350k troops lost on their side. Okay, Mr. Castile, I want my course from here. I want this course of Morocco and full money from you. This way, we are blocking them off from Africa. This unlocks us a mission, which is invade Maghreb, that gives giving us more clay to all around over here and maybe even ottomans yes ottomans would like right now to ally us so we are completely safe on this level alliance let me start repaying the loans we didn't take many it's pretty much four loans that we took what is actually also important to fix this campaign is to retake our provinces from yao which is gonna be a piece of cake you know this campaign is too easy, so we had to get the event for the comet. One of my last decisions to do today is to develop the gold mine slightly more because they finally got prosperity. I'm not gonna develop like crazy, just twice here, just fries here, just fries here as well. That didn't cost us that much mana. But that's a very decent booster income and we are gonna approach a hundred soon. And with the corruption down to zero, I don't know how much it hit. It took us 35 years, but it is zero and we have 55 balance right now. This is absolutely saved. No rebels, no loans, maximum power on the level of 86,000, 103 of income, 144 for limit. Decent army quality, still behind the ideas, but it's better than it was. Still behind the technologies, but at least we are green on the tech spot point, and we are more ahead than Castile, so our biggest enemy. And above that, we got rid of Castilians, mostly from Africa, so they are no longer a danger for us. They have freaking hand key troops, which is less than our force limit. This is not a problem. So guys, if you enjoyed this type of the content, so saving your ruined campaigns, let me know by liking this video and if you have any ruined campaign, join my discord and send me the save in the direct message. Take care of yourselves and I will see you very soon.